options that this thing has is everything. Welcome to the Zero to 60 podcast by LeithCars.com. I'm your host and local gearhead, Mark Arson. In episode 65 of the series and 12th podcast of season six, we're taking you to the LeithCars.com Holiday Cars and Coffee Car Show at the Leith Carry Auto Park. Bandit Trans Am here. Do you have any idea what this one is worth now? So, uh, and in the condition that it's in. So these cars are bringing in general like this 60 to over 100. <laughs> really? Yeah. LeithCars.com zero to 60 with automotive journalist and radio host Mark Arson. On a Saturday morning in mid-December, cars of all makes, all models, were parked pretty much as far as you could see in the Leith Carry Auto Park. And along with vendors and car nuts like myself, there was just about every kind of classic car, muscle car, sports car, foreign exotic that you can imagine all in one place. But amongst the Ferraris, Vets, Civic Type R's, one of the cars that caught my eye was a 1979 Bandit Edition Pontiac Trans Am. And we're going to talk to the owner right now. You mean to tell me we're going to drive from here to Texarkana, Texas, and back to here in 28 hours? So, Brian, first of all, you got a beautiful Bandit Trans Am here, but I understand there's actually something special about this car that makes it more legitimate than possibly other Bandit Edition Trans Ams. So the, the, the story is that an actual Bandit Trans Am that from the original movie was a 77. This is a 79. Mm-hmm. So it was never officially mo- used in a movie because it's a 79. 77 was the year that... Uh, the first film. The first film. How about used. Bandit 2 or it was an what? was <laughs> turbo Trans Am. Oh! But, okay. So, but what happened was from the movie... What all of those cars were special edition cars. So because it was a special edition car in the movie, now the special edition kind of became the holy grail of mm-hmm. what you wanted in a Trans Am. Yeah. So that was that was you know, black special edition with the gold stripes, and it was is kind of what everybody wanted after that. Yep. So there. So seventy seven and seventy eight had a, a similar body. You went to 79, and they changed the body slightly, but this is still a special edition car. Yeah, the 77 has that kind of open grill up top where the headlights are recessed. Correct. And then it comes down in the peak in the center. Correct. This one has the kind of scalloped twin recessed headlights and and more of a solid nose. Yes, so it has the full uh, kind of Endora Front yes. Over, yeah. And then the rear tail lights are also different, uh, starting in '79 compared to the '77. But well, there are some other details about this car too that you can tell this is a legitimate. This is not one that someone just painted black and put stripes on. Correct. Right. All right. So, tell us what 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 uh, what gives those clues away. Okay. So number one on this car, this is the the, the trim tag to denote this car and right here it says Y84 Mm -hmm. okay so the Y84 is the designation for a special edition car ah so that tells you that it's a special edition car on top of that there is a place called the Pontiac Historical Society or PHS you can get the documentation on the car from PHS yep and I have the documentation stating that this is a real special edition actual car. So what are the what are the, some of the uh, features or or pieces that came in the special edition Bandit uh, that you know that make it unique? So most of it is an appearance package, really. Uh, so up front here you have the the gold grills, and then you have the gold pinstriping throughout the whole car. There's all the gold pinstriping. Then if you look at the steering wheel, there's the gold spokes. And then if you look at the dash, there's the gold inlay. So on a non-special edition car, uh, that inlay would be all aluminum. 
mm -hmm. and you would more than likely have black spokes on the steering wheel, not not gold. Gold. So that is really the the special edition part of it. You could order the rest of the car uh, any way you wanted, even without the special edition. So back in the day, 1979. Do you recall what this car would have? stickered for from the so factory. The, the PHS documentation that I have, this car was, I believe, $8,800. Mm. $8,800 in 1979. Mm -hmm. Average car was probably around six sixty-five, yeah, Somewhere around, yeah, in the six to seven range yeah. back then. Uh, do you have any idea what this one is worth now? So these cars... Uh, and in the condition that it's in. So these cars are bringing, in general, like this, 60 to over 100. <laughs> really? Yeah. So the, the nicer, you know, there are some really ultra low mileage uh, special editions out there yeah. that are bringing over $100,000. All right, now, uh, Rusty, who is with our Volkswagen Carry dealership, he was telling me, uh, do you do some work with Barrett Jackson Auctions? So, so you're actually pricing cars like this? So I own North Carolina Auto Appraisal. Uh -huh. So all I do all day long is appraise cars and oh, inspect okay. cars. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty up to date on, on pricing and values. And, yes, I have to go so, to Barrett Jackson and, and various auctions i was just at mr elite's auction mm -hmm. last week to do inspections on cars for people and and figure out some values so they could bid on the cars yeah so this one has power windows power locks power trunk rear defrost intermittent wipers uh tilt wheel a lot of them you'll see they'll or on the cloth interior you'll see them with the vinyl or mm -hmm. you see them with mm -hmm. roll-up windows, or you see them with power windows and no power locks, mm. or you don't have the power trunk. Or so this is I've only seen one other that's had all the options like this one. Thank you for the for the trip back in history. Absolutely. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Break a wine, break a wine. This is the bandit, this is snowman out there. I'm Mark Arnson. Thank you for listening to the Zero to 60 podcast. It's a monthly series bringing you news from around the Leith Automotive Group and the world of motorsports in the Carolinas and Virginia. Be sure to follow us on social at Leith Cars and visit our website, leithcars.com. Zero to 60 is a production of leithcars.com. Like us on Facebook at Leith Cars. The copyright in this podcast and its contents belongs to Leith Incorporated.